Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back to our channel. Our days can be filled with many things. You may have a peaceful morning with your family and dog by your side, and then an exciting night out with your friends in the evening. Or maybe you have a good book for your morning and an exciting project to finish in the afternoon. These things can make our days feel wonderful. But what about the common unhealthy things we tend to do daily? Are there any unhealthy habits that tend to pop up daily for many people? There are quite a few. Here are six unhealthy things you're likely doing every day. Number one, ruminating on stressful events. Do you ruminate on stressful events that have already happened? Maybe you're rehashing an old scenario that worried you at the time or remembering each stressful detail of your day. This could have a negative impact on your mental well-being in the long run. According to a 2017 study published in the journal Behavior and Therapy, Rumination is a well-established vulnerability factor for depression that may exert deleterious effects both independently and in interaction with stress. The study findings suggest that decreasing rumination following stress may help alleviate depressed mood. So while it can be easy to fall into that state of overthinking and analyzing negative aspects of an event, it's best to turn your attention towards something you enjoy as soon as you catch yourself drifting off into unhealthy rumination in hopes the good thoughts take over. Number two not taking care of your physical or emotional needs. It's important that we take care of ourselves first so we can enjoy our days to their full potential. This could be a break from work to take a warm, relaxing bath or an art break in your current sketchbook or a chill hangout with your friends or family watching a good movie together. We should always focus on our mental and physical health so we can have the strength to achieve any goals we may have for the day. If you don't take care of yourself first, you'll only lose energy and become exhausted by the time you move on to your next task or assignment. Not taking the time for yourself and your needs could also lead you down a path to depression and other health problems. Make a conscious effort to make yourself a priority because you matter too. Mm, time for a bubble bath. Number three, procrastination. Ah, good old procrastination. I almost forgot about you, among other things. This common habit is another topping our list. Are you guilty of procrastination? All you wanna do is sit down and finish that art project due tomorrow, but you'd rather binge that favorite TV show of yours. Just one more episode, you tell yourself. Lies. This is a tough one. How can you help prevent this? Small but effective choices like putting away any distractions and working on the task at hand in a quiet place can work wonders. Then think baby steps as you complete your work. Divide the tasks into small achievable goals. Once you complete one, you may just gain a burst of motivation to complete the other. It's worth a try. Number four, skipping breakfast. How often do you skip breakfast? We need energy to start our day and we can get this much needed energy by getting a sufficient amount of hours of sleep and a healthy breakfast each morning. It will boost our metabolism and keep our brain alert for the day ahead. At the very least, don't skip the toast and jam and don't skip that glass of orange juice each morning. Aren't you glad I'm telling you about this? No, okay, I'll stop. Number five, arguing with friends and family. How often do you argue with your friends? What about your siblings? A 2007 study in the American Journal of Psychiatry found that males are at a higher risk for depression if they have a poor relationship with their siblings. So what topics of argument seem to cause the most problems? In 2012, researchers at the University of Missouri found that teenagers may be at higher risk of going through depressive symptoms, anxiety, and low self-esteem if their frequent arguments with their siblings fall into two categories. The topics are violations of personal domain or conflicts over fairness and equality. MU Assistant Professor of Psychological Science, Nicole Campuambar, found that conflicts over issues of equality and fairness are correlated to greater depression one year later, according to her results. So, when it comes to these topics, it's best to be fair to both you and your siblings and let the argument drop. How about watching a good old movie together to patch things up? And number six, ignoring your physical and mental health. Do you pay attention to your physical and mental health when you should? Our lives can be filled with busy days and constant interruptions, but it's best not to ignore your mental and physical health. There's taking care of our daily needs, but then there's also recognizing when something else may be going on with your physical or mental health. If you sense something is wrong with your health, it's best not to ignore and seek out some help or guidance. Most of our health problems will arise later than sooner if we don't take care of our health now. The National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute recommends that you get your cholesterol measured about once every five years, starting from the age of 20. 
That's one way you can check up on your physical health. Mental health? As mentioned before, know that it's okay to take breaks when overworked or simply just worked. If you feel overwhelmed or emotional, express yourself by journaling or talking to someone. It's always best to seek out help when you're feeling a bit burnt out or stressed, even more so if you feel something pressing is going on. It's okay to ask for help when you need it. It's probably best not to procrastinate on this one. So how many of these unhealthy things do you do each day? Feel free to share with us in the comments down below. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to click the like button and share it with a friend or someone who may need it. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. And as always, thanks for watching.